What's good, everybody? It's D. Brown Shanghai. And yesterday, we talked about the top five annoying NBA 2K characters of all time. So naturally, today we're going to be talking about top five favorites. Starting the list off at number five is NBA 2K16's Yvette Ming Ching. Yvette Ming Ching was Freak's girlfriend, his, his half Asian, half black girlfriend, I think. I don't know. I don't know if they ever clarified that, but that don't matter. What's important is that she shot down Vic's advances at her. I mean, as she's supposed to do, but she also told Freak about it. You know, like she shot him down and she told Freak, you know, she did the right thing as a girlfriend. And as far as I'm concerned, I didn't, you know, I didn't see no gold digger qualities. Everybody was calling her a gold digger, but I ain't seen nothing. The only thing I saw was she was trying to make sure her man was good. So that's why she comes in at number five on the list. And I bet y'all probably thought I was going to say something about her being bad or something. Bruh, y'all think she Doris Burke or something? At number four, we got NBA 2K18's Shammy Wells, your veteran who takes you up under his wing when you walk onto your team. Shammy Wells is dope, not only because, you know, he's your vet, but because he's literally a cheat code. Everybody in the 2K world knows that Shammy Wells will get you a three whenever you need it. He is the most knockdown shooter that I have perhaps ever played with in NBA 2K. And at number three, we got NBA 2K17's Denver Levens. And I know Denver might be a surprise to some of you because I will admit, when the game first came out, that nigga was hella annoying. Every five minutes, this man wanted to hang out with you when there were scheduled practices. He'd be like, yo, you trying to go to the mall, nigga? I know we got practice, but let's go to the mall. Why? But looking back now, you know, Denver was, he was actually a pretty cool dude. He was just trying to make a living in the NBA. He was a good teammate. You know, he just wanted to live the NBA life. And how could you be mad at that? My number two favorite character of all time in NBA 2K history is the, the girl from the table in the prelude. Yes, I know. She was only in the game for a little while, but that's all That's all she needed, bro. That, that woman, uh, you know, I feel like she would have been a very interesting a very interesting addition to the story. Maybe maybe that could have been uh, DJ's love interest. But after after the way they did it last year, it, it's, it's better that he don't even have one because... 2K17's the little the girlfriend storyline was, was dumb. You, you didn't have no control over that. It was it was no point for it really, honestly. But the girl from the prelude, she showed a lot of you know she showed a lot of range in a little bit of time that she was on the screen. You know she showed anger. I will no. get to you when I get to you. Come on, I'm trying to. Ball. I will get to you when I get to you. She showed you know she showed compassion. You're good. Yeah, well, will announce the first game in just a little bit. But in the meantime, you can get this over there. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. And she showed that she was funny. So literally in like 30 seconds of dialogue, she, she you know, she showed that she would have been, imagine having her instead of Be Fresh. Now 2K, we could we could have worked something out with that one. And at numero uno, we got NBA 2K17's very own Justice Young. Justice Young was your sidekick who you made orange juice with which we all know orange juices it's, it, it walks the line of cringe and cool it does it in a very you know in a way that not many things could because at times the shit is hella cringy but at other times it's like you know the, the orange juice thing you know when they when they get hype it was cool but the storyline of justice young and prez one of them being a grounded out player who was a four-year dude and prez being a one and done sensation like those two having to interact with each other. Like, the story was just cool. And then not to mention when you put Michael B. Jordan or Justice Young on that court, he had the chopper, really. Almost Shammy Wells level. Almost, not quite, though. So those are my top five all-time NBA 2K characters. Let me know in the comments, who are yours? Do you guys agree with me? Do you disagree? Who on my list shouldn't be on there? Who you think should be on there? If y'all want to see more of these, just let me know in the comments and I'll do another one, shoot. But if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. And as always, I'm D. Brown Shanghai. And I'm up out of here. God, every time. I tell y'all all the time. Nobody don't text me until I'm recording. But I'm up out of here. Jeez. All these people are heads are hollow, only want to be accepted, so they try to make an image to the soul is disconnected. To the day I stay corrected, I will fight with the viciousness. Here's from now, you'll laugh because you witnessed this. Tell you why I spit like this, because I don't give a fuck. With too many told me no until I felt like I was stuck, but I rose. So happy with the path that I chose. They call me Mariano because I'm bringing every game to a close now. Fresh you.